Hey, what is going on people? It's the IT guy here again with another video for you. In this video, I'll be showing you the correct way because there are multiple ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the correct way to create a pop OS um, bootable USB drive. Um, most most people use tools like Rufus to create these uh, t these uh, pop OS bootable USBs, but I've seen some cases. Actually, I've seen a lot of cases, myself included, where the installation fails due to the fact that Rufus burns the image in a certain way to the USB drive. So, the best way to uh, write the USB, uh, the, the the ISO file, the System76 uh, Pop! OS ISO file to a USB drive is by using uh, a tool called Belina Etcher. So it's actually called Etcher by a company called Belina. So you need to download this one over here and that will give, uh, this will burn the ISO uh, in a correct way to the uh, USB. So let's go ahead and download our um, image over here. So you go over to the System76 slash system76.com slash pop which will take you over to this website over here then you'll click download and then you'll just choose which kind of graphics card you have if you have integrated graphics um, then you'll probably choose this one or if you just have like a, a um, simple PC with only an Intel uh, CPU using the integrated graphics you'll use this one and also if you have a uh, AMD video card then you'll use this version over here and only if you have an nvidia card then you download uh, this one over here so i do have an nvidia card so i'm going to click this version over here let's go ahead and save it and in the meanwhile while this is downloading let's close the website over here you can go ahead and download uh, belina etcher you can save that too so you can go ahead and install etcher just click i agree it's installing. I already have it installed, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Install it another time. Okay, so now the software opens. Okay, so Pop OS is now downloaded. Let's go ahead and select the image. Let's find it in our downloads over here. Just go ahead and double click that. And then you'll just change the USB drive to whatever you want to. So this is generic USB. This is actually. Uh, not the right one so you'll have to select this one over here so I'm gonna choose my SanDisk cruiser continue and then flash that USB drive hit yes and then just wait for the magic to happen this is gonna take a while this is gonna take a couple of minutes uh, as you can see the ETA is about 10 to 15 minutes so it, it, uh, it differentiates uh, sometimes so most likely if you're using a USB 2.0 USB stick is going to take about 10 minutes uh, maybe a little bit less depending on the PC so as you can see the flash is complete if you want to you can flash another one over here that's your choice um, so go ahead and close that so if we would go over to the um, so to this PC and try to find the disk over here you'll see that it's not even listed over here and we can find it if we go into disk management and we scroll down to the bottom you would see that in uh, in fact it does have so it, it is created and there is unallocated disk space now don't be fooled by this because the disk is very very much created so the problem here actually the reason why uh, a lot of installations fail um, with uh, so a lot, the reason why a lot of installations fail during the installation process of uh, System76 is Pop! OS using Rufus is because of the formatting of the disk itself. Rufus formats the USB drive in a certain way and therefore um, the installation, the Pop! OS installation is unable to read certain files. Uh, I believe things like the recovery partition cannot be read from uh, the specific uh, partitioning that, um, uh, that uh, Rufus uses so you know there's the explanation why you need to use Etcher and not Rufus for the installation so if you I, I do believe that I installed it using Rufus once and it did work but I do believe that this has has something to do with the fact that I did not create a recovery partition on my PC so once the recovery partition is being created once it tries to read the recovery partition of the USB stick 
it fails for some reason because of the partitioning of that um, USB uh, stick. So yeah, there you have it. This is just me showing you the correct way uh, to create a uh, USB drive for System76's Pop! OS. Uh, I hope you liked the video, guys. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And uh, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.